Hey guys, you've Raj here from the Astra team. And if you've been using WordPress for quite some time, if you have an old website based on WordPress that you've been publishing on or updating for quite some time, it's very likely that your media gallery looks like this, a complete mess or tons of different images with very little organization options. Technically, there is a search option, but it is very limited. And just to give you an idea, I have around 560 media images on this test website. And for older websites, they might have thousands of images. And WordPress does not offer a significant organization options. That's the same story with posts as well. For example, I just created this uh, dummy website where, with a lot of different posts. But for publishers uh, who publish blog posts regularly, or if you are a publisher and you publish content regularly, news websites, any kind of websites, they end up with thousands and thousands of posts. For example, I have almost a two, uh, thousand posts on this website. And what I end up, ends up happening is there is very little organization in the post department or in the media library department. But what if we could change that? What if we could introduce the concepts of files and folders, the thing that we've been using on computers for so many years into WordPress? Well, that's the video because in this video, I'm gonna show you how to add files and folders to your WordPress media library and your post category or post pages so that you can organize your images and your posts better on your WordPress website. So to achieve this seemingly impossible feat, I'm gonna use this plugin called Folders, Unlimited Folders to Organize, quite long name, but the plugin is by a company called Premio. Now, technically there are other plugins out there that do the same job or it's similar jobs. For example, I tested some of these plugins out, this one, this one, this one, this is the one we're gonna use right now. And there are many other plugins out there that do, do similar jobs, but in my testing, I found this plugin to be, uh, has the, uh, or have the right amount of features, the right type of features in the free version of the plugin so that I did not seemingly or severely limit myself when I was organizing stuff. That's why I recommend this plugin. I also leave uh, some of the other plugins linked down in the description so you can check it out. But this plugin has a free version which includes unlimited folders. And that is one thing that really excited me about this plugin. So let's install this plugin and I'll quickly show you what the features are. So I installed the plugin and the first thing the plugin does is ask me for a subscription. If you don't want to subscribe to their email list, just skip the script button as I'm doing right now. And it'll give you a quick demonstration, but this, you're watching this video right now, so there's no need for to watch this video. And some of the settings are here, and I'll explain what these settings are. These are important to cover because it'll give you an idea on what the uh, options or how powerful this plugin is when actually you want to use it. So coming to the first few options, you have options to enable or disable this plugin with certain features in WordPress. For example, you can enable it with posts, pages, and media and some of the pro features we'll talk about. So first of all, if you if you don't use a lot of uh, posts on your website, then you can disable it, only use for media or vice versa. And this is a pretty powerful feature. The media options alone make this plugin worth it, but think about organizing posts in terms of categories, in terms of maybe authors, in terms of date, or even if you work with clients, then you can organize all the different pages that you create for them as demonstrations for testing in separate folders. It's, it's really powerful, it's very useful. So you can use this and you can also set up default folders that so that anytime you create a new page of post, it goes into a default folder. That's also pretty handy. And then talking about some of the pro features. So you have folders or you have the option to organize reusable blocks in folders. This is pretty amazing. I don't know why WordPress hasn't done this but this is pretty amazing. So you can organize reusable blocks, landing pages, that means elementor pages. If you create your my templates, that means custom post types or any kind of custom post size that you create on your website can be organized with the pro version. We'll talk about the pro version in a second once we do some basic uh, testing of this plugin. Then you also have undo or use folders with undo action after performing tasks. Uh, I'll show or demonstrate this feature once we actually uh, go and uh, test out the plugin. I'd recommend making this around 10 seconds. It's much more convenient. Then you also have the option of move uh, files to trash. So basic features, but the more important feature I already covered right here. And then we have some other interesting features here as well. So you have the enable replace media option. That means you can replace existing images or update your images instantly. Technically, I already did a video about this, but this plugin offers this functionality as well. Pretty awesome. Then you have the place the folders as uh, settings under settings. So you can just move this under settings. But uh, the most important features that I want to talk about are dynamic folders, auto rename, and also show media details on hover. So what dynamic folders are, this will create dynamic folders based on all your categories or maybe the author's date. For example, you can see the GIF demo right here. And this will all create automatic folders based on whatever kind of media you have. This is pretty powerful then you have auto rename. So if uh, this can rename the, uh, your uh, media files uh, 
directly automatically pretty handy feature again and then you also have the show media details on hover so in the media library if you hover over your images it'll show you some additional details as you can see the gif demo right here again this is a pro feature and you, you can also customize what features or what uh, things you will want to see for example you can uh, uh, go to the or click this uh, field right here and add all the details that you would prefer to see about your images so i'll save these changes because i made one change and then in user restrictions, these are all pro features, but technically you can restrict users to their specific folder. So if you have uh, multiple authors working on your site, you can restrict them and also restrict access to dynamic folders. I also meant, already mentioned dynamic folders. You can restrict uh, the access to dynamic folders if you have the pro version. But you also have some interesting options in customized folders, which are uh, not all of them are uh, premium. So what you can do is you can uh, color code the different options inside the plugin. So you have a new folder button color, bulk organized button color, replace media file button color, and also some font options. And you have presets or you have multiple options that you can choose from. If you want to use the custom option, then you have to upgrade to the pro version. And this is just a demonstration of how it will appear. So you change the font, maybe the color, maybe I do this. So this is how it's going to look like. Maybe I do this or I prefer the blue version much better. So let's say I make these changes and I can instantly see how the UI of the plugin will look like. And you have some other tools as well. You can have import and export options and some other settings, but we'll talk about them later. First, let's save the changes and actually start organizing our data in WordPress. So let's go to the media library. And instantly you see a brand new interface in the media library and you can see unassigned files. That means the files that have not been assigned any folders right here. So first of all, as I mentioned, I have a lot of different placeholder images on my site. So what I'll do is create a new folder called placeholder. All right. So now I've created or I'll click this uh, button to create a uh, placeholder and upgrade to pro to create subfolders. So if you want to create subfolders, that's a premium feature. So I'll submit this and now I have a placeholder image or folder right here. And now I'll what I'll do is go to bulk select, start clicking all the placeholder images, which I can see right here. Placeholder. I'll just select a few of them because I have a lot and I'll just drag them. And as soon as this placeholder icon highlights, I'll just leave it. And as you can see, the action has been completed and you have the undo option right here. Make, let's say you make a mistake and this is the setting I changed. I made this 10 seconds in the five, five, it felt a little too quick to me, but now you can see you have 14 images in the placeholder folder. There are some other right here, or you might not see uh, some of the uh, plugins or some of the images I moved still here. All you have to do is refresh this page and then you'll see all those images that were assigned to the folders gone from the interface. And you also have the option of resizing this, which is pretty handy as well. So. Again, let's say I have a lot of images of maybe nature. So I'll again create one more folder called nature and then start moving all those images that are related to nature on this any specific folder that I create and start moving all those folders or sort those images right directly to this folder. Let's say I have all these different folders or sorry images related to nature. And let me just quickly select a few more and I'll just drag them to nature and let go and all of these images have now been moved to the nature category i'll just refresh this page and now if i want to see unassigned files i'll just click the button right here and only the files that are unassigned will be visible here and then i can see images in folders right here placeholder images and nature images makes so much much more sense in terms of organization and you also have the bulk organize feature you can drag and drop single images directly you don't have to go to the bulk select option for example if i'm in the unassigned view and let's say this is a placeholder image obviously i'll just drag it leave it and that's done so you can do uh, this one by one or you can bulk select but it gives you tons of options to just organize your images in wordpress and that's just the beginning or i said that that's one of the key features but you also can do this with posts for example i showed you right here this was how the interface looked like for posts and you had tons of different posts on the site um, let me just refresh this page because after i installed the plugin i haven't refreshed this page so let's do that and as soon as the plugin is refreshed or the page is refreshed you see a similar interface right here on this uh, the same interface that you saw in the media library right here so let's say now, right now, uh, I don't have any ideas in mind on how I would organize or what kind of folders I would create. So let me just create a demo folder. And I'll click submit. And let's say I just want to include all of these uh, 
different uh, I say posts in the same folder. So I'll just try and because I haven't tried this before. So let me see how I'll bulk select or if I can do this one by one. And I'll just start moving all these posts into this particular category or particular folder makes my life so much easier. And I can just see all the unassigned posts right here. And again, the demo folder or the uh, all the uh, posts that have been assigned to a specific folder, you can find here. Now, this is just one basic feature, which I already mentioned with the starting of the plugin that you have the organization features, but you have other features as well. Some of them are pro again, some of them are in the free version, which is all about sorting, filtering, and all kinds of options. So first of all, you have a search feature. So you can search, this search also works, but this search will also, I, I believe, search for folder names. So if you have a lot of folders and technically you can create unlimited folders, this will be very handy. Second, you have this pro feature, which is expand. I don't know what this feature does, but uh, uh, this is a feature that I've been thinking about, sort folders. So let's say you have 20 folders or maybe 50 folders. Then the problem just repeats itself, right? Uh, earlier you had too many files or images, but now you have too many folders. How do you organize them? So you click this button right here and then you have the option to sort filters or sort uh, your folders by alphabetical order in the ascending or descending, and also by uh, date you create them. Now this is a pro feature, but it's a very handy feature once again. So since we've been talking about the pro features already, I'll just give you a quick demonstration on what the pro features offer or what uh, the specific features are in the pro apart from the features that I already talked about. So in the pro feature, you have organized pages posts, of course, which is already talked about unlimited subfolders with multi-level support. So this is not possible in the free version. You can only create root level folders. Then you have subfolders with the pro version. You have dynamic folders, which I talked about, you can create folders for each post type. So you have WooCommerce uh, pages or products, you have Elementor uh, pages, different kinds of pages, automatic, or I'd say you can create folders for that. Then you have metadata details, which I already mentioned, and upload folders with all its content. So ton of different features, you have duplicate folders, you have lock and unlock folders, user ac access restrictions, so you can restrict users specifically, advanced media replacement options, and tons of other features. The pricing is also visible right here on the screen. And if you're interested, the, there'll be links in down in the description for this, uh, for the free version, and of course, also for the pro version, so you can check it out. So quick video on how to organize your images in WordPress. I think, uh, or I believe this uh, will be very helpful for large websites. If you have a website that has tons of images, tons of posts, you can start using this plugin to organize your uh, images and not only just images, your posts and pages as well. And if you like this video, make sure to like it, check out this plugin. The links will be in the description of this video. And if you're interested in any kind of WordPress tutorials, make sure to subscribe to this channel as well. And you are watching and listening to Yuvraj from the Brainstorm Force team, makers of Astra. I'll catch you very soon in the next video. Take care and stay safe.